crashed forth their message of death to the Germans. And from 3,000 guns, the tempest of death swept through the air. It was a wonderful sound. The flashes of guns in all directions made lightning in the dawn. In an instant, the enemy's artillery replied. And against the morning clouds, the bursting shrapnel flashed. I knelt on the ground and prayed to the god of battles to guard our noble men. There was such splendor of human character being manifested in that far-flung line where smoke and flame mocked the calm of the morning sky that the watcher felt he was gazing upon eternal things. Frederick Scott, Senior Chaplain, 1st Canadian Division. The soldiers of the four Canadian divisions advanced up the steady incline of Vimy Ridge on Easter Monday, April 9th, 1917. Overhead, Billy Bishop, flying his Newport aircraft, took note of the Canadians' unhurried and measured pace. The men seemed to wander across no man's land and into the enemy trenches, as if the battle was a great bore to them. To me, it seemed that they must soon wake up and run, that they were altogether too slow, that they could not realize the great danger they were in. I could not get the idea out of my head that it was just a game they were playing at. It all seemed so unreal. Nor could I believe that the little brown figures moving about below me were really men. Men going to the glory of victory, or the glory of death. 